Hi there. <laughs> uh, I'm Johan. I'm the administrator of this uh, channel, the Maplin 56 and 3800 uh, synthesizer channel. Uh, and uh, as you can see in the background, I have my uh, 5600 stereo Maplin. Uh, and I told you guys uh, quite a while ago that I was going to make a few videos demonstrating my uh, upgrades and uh, just general stuff about the Maplin. Uh, so this is just a, a tester video, basically. Uh, I'm gonna, I'd like your feedback on sound quality, picture quality and all that stuff. And then I'll become more systematic, I hope. So today I'm just gonna play a sound I have on the Maplin. Uh, as I mentioned before, I've converted it somewhat so I can play it in true stereo all the way. I've added another VCA and I've done a bunch of other uh, alterations. But um, I'll just start by uh, playing this sound. Uh, it has a bit of a reverb that I added in Cubase. But other than that, it's uh, uh, only the Maplin. Uh, I have the Maplin that goes through a Mackie mixer, goes into a Steinberg UR44, uh, and then into my uh, MacBook. Uh, well, I'll take it away. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So, uh, kind of sucky playing, but um, that was a sound that uses all four oscillators. And uh, it has them, uh, uh, oscillators one and two, hard pan to the left, oscillators uh, three and four, hard pan to the right. Uh, and then they go through uh, uh, the built-in filters, and uh, then it goes through the uh, envelope control, uh, which... Uh, to which I added an additional uh, VCA, so I can uh, let the envelope control have a stereo signal com come through. Then it goes out, out. Uh, and then I have various uh, control settings here that I'll, I'll get back to. I've all, it's also, all, uh, also prepared to play over MIDI, and then I get a few other, a few extra uh, features like uh, velocity sensitivity and. Uh, after touch possibility and stuff like that. But uh, I can show you if I make this sound a bit simpler, I can take away uh, oscillators uh, two and four. So we only have one on each channel. Then you can hear it a little cleaner. <laughs> And if we switch back to oscillators uh, 2 and 4 instead, those I have hooked up to uh, the modulation input. And that way I can go... Uh, I use the modulation uh, pot here to uh, add modulation. You can, of course, uh, hook it up to the uh, uh, joystick here to add modulation as well. But right now I have the... Uh, both my uh, amp modules are busy because uh, they're hooked up so that I uh, can get uh, the velocity sensitivity f when I run it over MIDI. So uh, another thing that is cool when I have, let's do uh, one that is, now I have one oscillator that is uh, not on the, on the modulated. <laughs> Uh, the cool thing with having it uh, that you can use both uh, uh, key direct and key modulate at the same time is that I have uh, split the glide between them. I moved the glide uh, for key direct to the right read computer 
blocked here since I don't use it. That way uh, I can do stuff like this. So that's kind of cool. Um, I've also made a few uh, upgrades to, I recently, uh, a lot, I've read a lot of you guys have problems with uh, the keyboard that it stops triggering. I had the same problem. So I replaced all the, uh, all the switches that came from the factory and instead I installed micro switches here. Uh, so now I have a very reliable uh, keyboard that can trigger very fast. And I can... Uh, so, to me, that's much better. Uh, so, now if I switch... Uh, I've also added... Uh, I've rearranged the patch board. I rearranged all the... I alternate the audio signals and the control signals because I had a bit of problems with the crosstalk. And now since I've added... Uh, uh, I've added an, an additional uh, CV input, so now I have three in, and I also added three outs. Uh, so now I can hook up to external, uh, like Eurorack stuff, and I also have Mooger Fuger filters and stuff like that, that I can hook up to. Um, so, um, but mainly this is uh, to make it convenient when I hook up to a MIDI. So what I do now uh, with the MIDI, I have a, a King Korg, uh, synth here that I used to control it. I've put it here so I can switch to uh, external CV. And I switch all the switches here, of course, to external CV. Uh, and then I, from one of the CV inputs, I have uh, the trigger in. Uh, so I can play from here. So I'll go back to this four oscillator sound. Or and now, uh, you may notice that I can have... And I can also, if I have resonance on the filters... Oh well. I think I'll stop there for now, because it's not very... Uh, systematic the way I present things but uh, tell me what you think about the uh, picture quality the audio quality uh, if the f format is appealing to you because then I'll keep making more videos and show you in detail how I've modified my Maplin so take care cheers from Sweden and I hope you guys get a have an excellent uh, 2023 and that you had a, a nice Christmas holiday. So take care. I'll see you guys later.